The current exhibition of Empathy Beneath the Surface is a great example of how we bring in diverse artists. Some are from our community and some are from as far as South Africa. Um, they're very well-known artists, so it's very exciting to have them here at our museum and in this community for you to see. Right when you walk through the doors, the first artist you experience is Simfe Nazubi, who is a young South African artist who's currently also working here in Los Angeles. Sim, as he's known, is a very popular artist right now, and he is using clothes and sculpture and paintings to um, heal through, from a post-apartheid South Africa, and he's also exposing us here in Thousand Oaks to this um, Zulu culture of swanking. Then you encounter Amy Vitali's giant panda. She is a gateway into Amy's story. Amy Vitali is a National Geographic um, photographer who lives, the, lives it. She goes to Africa and China and she documents these efforts to uh, preserve the things that we um, love. And then after Amy Vitale, you're going to experience our feature artist, Hung Lu, who has quite a story. She was part of the Cultural Revolution from Mao. There was no art, and that was part of the revolution to re-educate them. And her stuff is quite um, moving. Um, as a social realist, they take the anonymous person and they make them into the symbols of strength. So that's something that we're also talking about in our community of the strength and this endurance, you know, but also of hope. And then we go into Marissa Cacciolo and she has given us like a real contemporary art <laughs> work that kind of makes you think about what is the meaning. With Marissa's work, I see the clothing as another way of defining womanhood and the dresses and the skin and the stuff that we wear, but that's my own personal interpretation. And then John Nava. John's work are these neon icon tapestries. The um, series that we're showing, we're re-showing it. It was originally about 20 years ago that he debuted them, but yet some of those messages still kind of resonate to people today. Then we walk into Marjorie Salvatera's room. Why are you just bombarded with womanhood? All these um, luxurious, thickly dramatic images in black and white and these tableaus of these women in these outfits and they're so funny and they're yet so poignant and um, she's really captured it and I do feel if you think about an artist uh, really putting themselves into the artwork I just see Marjorie all over here. So then finishing up we have Tom Everhart. I like Snoopy and I like the peanuts, but to see them the way Tom Everhart sees them is a different way. All of a sudden they become symbols for an emotion or a feeling. This work here, he has Make It Stop and it's Linus without his security blanket and he is um, having a tantrum and he is just so frustrated about what's going on. So I wanted to bring those artists here to show their statement on empathy, how they empathize with a situation such as the situation in South Africa with Simfue or Hung Lu with some of the situations in um, Depression era America or in China during the Mao regime. These things are brought to light for the people in this community in a way where we can feel how they might have felt so that we can see through their eyes, the eyes of the artist and how they felt in creating the pieces. And hopefully that will translate to the viewer.